Last weekend we had um, a little visit to a place called Haworth or Hareworth, H-A-W-O-R-T-H and this is a nice little village in West Yorkshire. Uh, some, somewhere I've always wanted to visit, I've seen pictures of it and know people who have been and I've not never been until last week myself. So it was really nice to spend a little time walking around this little village uh, just outside of Bradford. Um, it was a really nice sunny day and so I had a chance to take my camera and so I just wanted to share this with you. So welcome back to my channel. Um, we're actually, uh, the weather's changing here in the UK. It's getting nice and warm. Um, it's nice to hear the birds singing and um, it's nice to be able to get out, get out and enjoy the outdoors. So this weekend we're gonna be, um, or should I say on the weekend, we had plans to go to Blackpool and so I'm actually doing this audio it's Sunday morning and we're actually going to Blackpool today so hopefully um, I'll be able to find some nice references to do some more watercolor painting um, in my previous in my next sort of few videos so for this this uh, painting I did start with see uh, uh, I did an, a quick outline with the pencil and then I wanted to do something a little bit different so I used my sepia colour um, ink pens and then uh, just wanted to paint this quite loose so I've got quite a quite a tight drawing quite accurate I, I suppose and um, took my time with this and so with the watercolour I wanted to sort of free that up but the pen was just really um, more of a guideline so I didn't want to go too um, precise and you can see I'm not even going to the edges of the paper and this is uh, this is actually Jackson's 140 pound cold press paper and I'm using my uh, Winsor & Newton watercolours for this painting It really is a, a, a nice place to visit if you uh, haven't been to uh, West Yorkshire in, here in the UK. And these really nice little villages and um, I, I just love the way you get a lot of stone houses, um, you get a lot of um, hills and a lot of sheep and animals. So it's really quite a rugged place. Um, I've worked quite a few times in West Yorkshire and all around Yorkshire and my hometown is actually eight miles from Tommerdon, about eight miles something like that uh, so I've always been on the doorstep um, of Yorkshire so it's a really familiar place to me um, and there's all these little pockets of little villages and little little gems in the in the uh, countryside so it's just nice to find these places and uh, get some references and you've always got a, a nice um, a nice reference or two to to paint I wasn't sure whether to add this, um, I guess it must be a telegraph pole and I wasn't sure because it sort of divides the picture into two, it's near enough in the middle 
Um, so I wasn't really sure. And, uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Would you have added this hole to the scene? I mean, it's, it's a part of the scene, so I guess it's it, it's got its place, but I really wasn't sure because it, it does almost divide the veterans too. But please do let me know what you think. And we've got this little, um, it looks like Mary Poppins on the uh, uh, on the side of this uh, shop. All these buildings are going down the sort of street. It's quite a, a steep hill. So you've got lots of these different shops and this one, um, you know, Mary Poppins and that is actually a bike on the side of the building. And you've got all these little uh, sort of gift shops and artisan things. Lots of lots of things to, to look at over in Haworth. Um, so if you if you are in the area and you want to get a gift that's unusual for someone, um, a lot of um, art shops and handmade things. So there we go. Hope you like this one. It, it's a nice short video. Most of it's in time lapse. Um, just trying to cut my videos down slightly. Uh, but there we go. There's the sky nice blue sky and that's a nice impression of how I hope you like this one thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video take care bye bye